we're all fighting on at the moment. You know, it's 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 been a hard month, and and um, we've been um, grateful with the support from the community, and and uh, you know everybody's coming to calling her mum and dad's house. It's been a great comfort to us all. Um, now we're d the focus um, is turning to getting our justice for Natalie and Dean. It feels like every day goes by instantly, but in in a way, it feels like it's been ten years since it happened. You know, it's been it's obviously we're we're, we're obviously missing Natalie very much, and um, it's been hard on us. You know, um, what's happened, but we're we're just fighting on. As I say, it's 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 been hard for us, but I think that the fight now for justice is is, is keeping us going for, through this month, and we'll continue until we get there. I remember when Natalie came round to my house to tell me that uh, she was pregnant, like I danced around the living room and all, and was jumping up and down, I was hugging her, and, and even when she left, I was still dancing, you know, and we were all so excited, you know, my mum was going to buy a pram, bring them around Craven Lakes every day, you know, um, they were just, they were so excited, and we were just, we were all looking forward to it, and it's just been, it's just been robbed from us now, which is heartbreaking. I never seen her sad, you know, she was always upbeat about life and everything, you know, she was. She loves going to concerts. As I say, you know, the Killers being number one. She was excited. She texted me a couple of days, you know, before she passed. That did I want to go with her and to the Killers and when they're playing in in September? And I says, yeah, yeah, no problem. Get me a ticket. I'll, and she says, yeah, I'll get you one. And then she's all, I'm gonna get bring my mum and dad. You know, and you know she loved them. And mum and dad never went and seen them. And she wanted to bring them and see what the experience was like for her. You know. Um, she also loved to go into the football matches. Obviously, she was over with us at Everton for my dad's 60th. She said it was brilliant, amazing, and she she loved her job. You know, she worked for Translink in marketing, and uh, like she loved getting out. Like she wasn't just off; she was office based, but she's she kind of got out into the community and was talking to people. And she was always like coming back and telling us all of these people she spoke to and who she like helped out. And you know, she really loved it. Like you know, yeah. I've seen the good in people throughout this last month and you can just see how, how good people are but this per this monster he's not a person because i wouldn't want to label him with the same people that have who are, who are amazing who've been coming out with the great messages of support and sharing the, the police appeal and the cctv and trying to get, keep the word out there so he's just an absolute monster and how could anyone do that to uh, not only a person but to our natalie you know who you couldn't say a bad word about how could you, how could you have had any grudges against Natalie to do something like that? It's a shame that, that Natalie had to, has, is in the news for this. You know, she, she, this, this didn't deserve to ha happen to her, not, not one bit, and, and Dean. They, they deserve, you know, to be in, in, the, in the news for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons, and, and this monster has done this to us and to our community as well.